Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miruko Chan episode number 5. All right, the previous episode, it was um one of the best uh small plot twist. It's it's not like some earth shattering plot twist, but it was a very well uh crafted and cleverly utilized plot twist that was shown uh in the previous episode and it was like, you know, the the their foreshadowing and everything that was happening in the first three episodes it kind of we kind of realized that everything was as like you know like they were setting this up for this episode and the way they so smoothly actually like revealed what was happening and the actual twist in the story like that was brilliantly done like i've i don't think i've ever seen like usually in plot twists and seen like stuff like this uh there is small little hints that kind of are thrown around but like you know like like it's very rare to actually find animes which can uh so flawlessly execute a plot twist in such a like you know discreet manner and like unless and until it is shown to you you never realize that they were actually foreshadowing it that's like the beauty of a real good plot twist and episode 4 nailed it in the end and i was so impressed by the ending like you know that ending scene and it was just so well done and yeah like that was one of the best episodes and let's see if there are more surprises like this in the future as well because i am really looking forward to this even more i really liked the manga the first one like you know three or four chapters that i read it was so damn well done and i can see that it gets better now that i'm watching the anime so yeah so without further ado let's get started this is episode number uh, five of miruko uh, chan so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go oh this girl huh <laughs> Oh wait, is this what happened before she went back home? I think so. Because she went home, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, it is before that, okay. Yeah, elementary school. She's like, yeah, you're lying. <laughs> okay oh yeah we saw this scene in the previous episode she goes wait she can see them or was oh wait 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 she can oh it's kind of hazy but he can see them is that why she is always keeping an eye on Miko? Julia, Nigure though. Yeah, it's like hazy. But she can see it. They don't. Yeah, so she has this power from her childhood. That's even more scary. Oh my god. And I think she actually suspects Miko. That's why she's like, you know, keeping an eye on her or something. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> that's why she wanted to be her apprentice. Perfect plan. Uh, I'm sorry to say the go <laughs> the godmother has gone in indefinite leave, and she's not coming back anymore. My God. <laughs> 
<laughs> so this happened um the scene that we sh saw here this happened in episode 4 where we see uh, Miko and uh, you know Miko going to the fortune teller and we saw this girl Yulia I think that was her name Yulia kind of going away from the, that sh like you know from the fortune teller so that scene and this scene is connected oh boy so I'm guessing <laughs> She'll go back to the fortune teller and she'll see that it's closed and she has gone back home and she'll be furious or something. I don't know. Let's see. Or she'll be sad most probably. Okay, interesting. So the, the fortune teller can see it, but I think uh, Yulia can see it more clearer than the fortune teller. The fortune teller can kind of just see a silhouette and um yulia can see the silhouette and like it's hazy but it's more clearer than uh the fortune teller all right my god so miko is the most powerful <laughs> she can see it very clearly all right there you go <laughs> poor girl <laughs> Discovering the limits of her abilities. Wait, she doesn't. Oh, she doesn't realize that Miko has spiritual. I thought that's why she was keeping an eye on them. I'm getting butt buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god wait so why is she keeping an eye on them if she doesn't oh wait that's why oh my god i thought she... oh i thought she okay anyways Bud buns. <laughs> oh, this is a ghost. Oh my god. Okay, I think she'll actually suspect something here. Yeah. Yeah. She'll suspect it here. Miko is so used to this now. She's like, yeah, this is everyday life. What else can I do? <laughs> Macho dudes. All right, she's suspecting it. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, there she is. Um, mm. All right, she's probably going to. I should probably, uh, okay. Um Um oh, What's she even trying to do? It's one of us. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they Oh those uh, little old men or whatever 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, after that she... Okay. She stalked her. Oh, wait. No, this happened after. Okay. Yeah, she realized that she's more stronger than her. <laughs> what the? Oh, she actually knows how to manipulate these things. Okay. She has more information about the ghosts. Um. Well, obviously, who will believe her? Mm, she tried to tell everyone, but... No. Wouldn't, wouldn't the ghosts be suspicious? Wait, don't, don't point at them. What is she doing? She doesn't know that. <laughs> Which she doesn't know. She's blatantly pointing at them. No! Oh my god! Stop! Oh my... <gasps> oh my god, she, she can't see that. You need level 10 to see that. But Yule is unfortunately level 8, I guess. So... Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah, it's beyond her. I think it... She's like, the ghost is like, oh yeah? Oh yeah, you can see me? Oh my god. Oh lord. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. Is it Megumi? <laughs> Great. There you go. Nani? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. This ghost freaked out. She really can't see that ghost. <laughs> That's not the only problem. What? Anna? Wait, what? Oh, he... <laughs> oh, she's going to make her... <laughs> She's going to knock her out. <laughs> the ghost is like, what are they even doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, she, she's, did she like saw a glimpse of it? Okay. <laughs> Knocked her out completely. Well, what else would, would she even do at that moment? Like... <laughs> she has PTSD now.
Eh, it's a prank. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if she's actually going to say that I can see them. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, she can see more. There you go. But keep it like ambiguous. No need to go into details. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait, what? She never said that. Wow, she has so much PTSD that she even <laughs> misheard her. <laughs> Great. Great. Oh my god. Yeah, I hope so as well. <laughs> Choked. Okay, well, there you go. Oh, great. It's night time. <laughs> what ghost are we going to encounter this time? Message? Uh, you should. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just waiting for what will pop up this time. Okay, here we go. Is this an old woman or something? Old woman ghost? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> don't stop, don't stop, she realized. Yeah, ne never before did a ghost touch her. Wait, what? All right, never mind. Yeah. And it was dark at that, you know? Hmm. Okay, that was nice of her to actually Help her. <laughs> you left it in. <laughs> okay. Um, to your left. To your left. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, okay. I'm guess as can she she's she's gonna give her some food or something, most probably. What the hell is happening? What the? Is this the, the dad's ghost? 
It must be because she said something about the dad dying or something. Um, Granny. <laughs> um, what, what, what's, what is he counting? What is, what is he saying? Four, six, three. Yeah, it must, it must be. Is he like repeating some kind of password or something? Like passcode? <laughs> Wait, sheesh. She, she, she typed that. What the? Oh, I think it is something like that. The dad is like, like some kind of password or something. Because she typed that and the granny was like, oh, like I remembered something. Yeah, it is the same. Oh my God, there you go. I called it. Okay, it's a safe password. I thought it was like some kind of mobile password or something. What is that? Some letters and a... Oh, oh that's a comb. Okay. What the? Oh my god. Okay, so dad, the dad was like roaming around here to like that was like I guess like his wish or something. Yeah, it was his wish. He wasn't able to pass on or something because of that. Damn. Ah, uh, there he is. Mm. Yeah, I think she remembered her dad. You know? She remembered her dad. Who's kind of in a similar position, you know? Like, wandering around. But I think the, her dad uh, was able to pass on after that. I'm not sure. We'll see. No. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was nice. That was a nice, like, you know, heartwarming ending. <clears throat> Okay, so this kind of shows like different ghosts also have like different personalities. For example, this ghost, uh, the dad ghost, he he was just wandering around trying to say the safe password, and even though he realized in the end that Miko can see him, he did not freak out. He was like, "Thank you," and just went away. But we've seen before like some different ghosts, other ghosts kind of freak out whenever they realize that they are being seen. But this ghost did not do that. You know, like he was able to realize Miko can see him, but he was like, thank you for helping my family. So like different ghosts have different personalities as well, I guess. Like, you know, like which I guess kind of reflects the way they were when they were alive or something or how they died, I'm guessing, you know? Because I'm guessing most of the ghosts that are wandering around 
have died in a bad way or something you know otherwise like you know like i think that's what ghosts are actually like who have some like grudges or something on the humans and everything i don't know like i'm not sure about this but i kind of wait oh, there's something left okay mrs donald oh great more ghosts there you go oh that thing i wonder what this is about like you know because it's like eating them yesterday oh wait 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 that's just a sec let me let me check the last scene again okay um she's standing there and she's like was that the guy from yesterday wait so damn that's interesting so i was saying that um, oh you know what i think i realized what's happening um like i was saying that um these ghosts are actually like you know like that have some kind of uh but it doesn't make sense in a way like what i'm trying to say here is like as i said like this the last ghost the dad ghost they uh, like you know he he was able to tell the family about the safe password and that's why uh you know like he will i i said that yeah he would be able to get pass on from now on like after this and here in the last scene we see the way this ghost is passing on is another ghost is consuming it so i'm guessing all the ghosts that are lining in here they somehow got their you know like whatever they wanted to do in the mortal world some kind of uh like you know um, what can i say like things that were not done left like you know that were left that unfinished work yeah that's what i'm trying to say unfinished work that was uh, left for them in the mortal world whenever they are able to uh, reach their goal i'm guessing they like everything is done in this world and that's why they come here line up and this this big ghost kind of consumes them and i don't know what happens after that i'm guessing this is a way of them passing on to the afterlife so i'm not sure but that kind of brings another question here like like all this time we've been we've been seeing these type of ghosts you know these type of um, ghosts with like you know dark aura and this type of monsters we are seeing them i wonder like what is the difference between these ghosts and there are also different types of spirits that we saw as well apart from these type of ghosts which are number one the dad the dad is not like these ghosts they he is like a normal person you know he's like a spirit and like one that's one exception another exception you remember those nekomatas those uh, little angel cats that was uh, with the 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 scary looking guy and her his wife both of them retained their human form and they were kind of like a spirit so i'm wondering like what is the actual difference between like which what would actually uh decide that after someone dies are they going to become monsters like this or are they going to become like you know normal spirits like the dad and the wife uh, the the scary guy's wife which path are they are they going to take what what decides that um like you know my guess would obviously be that uh for example as i was saying uh people who get killed in bad ways or people who get killed when and they have something left to do on earth or something like that you know uh or in in, in a very what can i say yeah like when if they have some kind of grudges or something in in the mortal world after they die uh i'm guessing these these type of ghosts become these type of monster type of things that we are seeing with a dark aura around them while the people after death who are who die with like, you know in peace and you know who are who does not have any grudge it was people from the uh, uh, in the mortal world or they don't have anything left to do or something uh you know i don't know like maybe they become ghosts like the dad and the 
the scary guy's uh, wife and the little cat spirits i guess who knows like interesting like that's what i'm trying to think about like like they did not even show us whether the dad passed on or not like you know in the previous episode we kind of saw him glowing after like you know he got the pudding so like i guess they were implying that after this he'll pass on but they did not like you know confirm that after that so i'm not even sure about what happened after that like if he really passed on after that that would mean that those type of like you know humanoid spirits who look like their normal human self those spirits and these monster type of like you know beings they have different ways of passing on the normal human type uh, spirits who we have been seeing like the dad the wife the cat spirits they they pa pass on i guess normally you know when like you know when their uh, wish comes true or something they like start glowing and they they disappear i guess that's their way of passing on while these monster type of ghosts their passing away is a lot different where they just i know you know like line up in a queue and like in this place and this huge like you know this monster that consumes them it starts eating them and that's how they pass on i guess like that's what i'm thinking now so i'm sure there will be more explanation hopefully or i i don't even know if they're going to keep this like in a mystery kind of way so if they really explain what's happening in the future i'm really interested to see how they're going to explain this because as i said like i really like this <clears throat> anime because of this mystery type of a, a thing here that's going on which shows us that there's a lot of things happening in the background than we actually know and hopefully they are actually going to go deeper into the whole <clears throat> mechanisms of this world what's happening how do the ghosts operate what do they want and like you know like what's happening like uh, all this, these stuffs like if they really go deep into that i'm very much interested in how they're going to like you know tackle this because as i said like you know people like you know like different mangas i've seen like you know their mangakas actually uh, researching on this the subject that they do uh, for example detective ma mangakas or something else you know like for example if they like have to draw a place they actually go to that place see the like you know sceneries and everything and then they like you know draw so this whole thing of ghosts and otherworldly beings it it's, it does not actually exist properly in this world and you won't be able to get some reference from anything so you basically have to use your own imagination and read other books other authors take on this whole thing of ghosts and like you know make a little like you know like you know mix them up and bring out something that you think is like you know perfect for this show and i'm really interested in how like you know this <clears throat> mangaka has gone about on the topic of ghosts and otherworldly beings and for, for now you know the, for the first few episodes that i'm watching now currently i i am very much interested in the way like you know they are depicting ghosts and the little mystery things that are going on it's, it's just so well done and damn this this is really great it's such a fantastic show okay um this episode here uh one thing we get to know here is yui yula that, that was the name yula i think was that her name um let me check i can't oh my god uh i think her name was yula her uh title was kind of difficult to remember nige uh, niguredo yuria okay Nig nigu N niguredo yuria yuria okay <clears throat> so or yulia okay L and R are kind of similar in Japanese, you know, the kind of. All right, um, uh, Yulia. So Yulia, um, she has also this type of a power. She can see spirits or ghosts or monster, whatever you call them. And she has been able to see them from a very young age. That's really scary, you know, and <clears throat> like, so here's the thing. 
she can see these ghosts, but she's not as talented. I, I, I don't know if you ask, like, how do you even explain this? Talented, I guess, you know, as talented as Miko, <laughs> because Miko can see a lot of like them more clearly and she can see a lot more. Now, like, here's one thing that kind of interested me is like, you know, like she can see those little old men ghosts, but she cannot see the big ghost. So that actually means that I don't know how they like, you know, like these ghosts operate, but probably there's like a perception level, you know, that's why, like, you know, normal people can't see ghosts at all. You know, their perception level is zero, I guess, if you have to put a number on it zero uh the the fortune teller i you can say that her perception level is three out of ten that's why she can kind of see like blurry kind of like silhouettes but she can't figure them out properly what they are she can just see like a patch a patch of thing hovering around that's what she can see yulia i guess her perception level is five i guess because she can kind of figure them out and I, I guess that she can also hear them their noises that they make but she cannot see like you know higher level ghosts while I guess Miko's perception level is 10 I guess you know because she can almost see everything that's going around so <clears throat> that's why she wasn't able to actually uh, perceive that there was another huge monster I guess the huge monster was like you, <laughs> you remember like you know, you know those <laughs> Uh, video game rpgs or something where there's like uh <laughs> like you know a thing that yeah this weapon you need to be level 10 to use this weapon otherwise you won't be able to do it <laughs> i guess this ghost had like a level requirement you know like uh, level 8 and up can see me <laughs> or something like that <laughs> i guess so yeah that's why you know like miko since her perception level is so big, uh, so large, she can she can just like you know easily see it and realize what's happening. While Yulia wasn't able to do that. <laughs> oh my god! Like yeah, I think that's what's happening. Otherwise, it doesn't like you know like that's probably what it is. So yeah, so Yulia, so you know like she was, and I, I realized another thing that Yulia also doesn't know that you should not point at them and make them realize that you can see them. Bad stuff can happen with that. We still don't know what can happen, but I guess something bad will happen if they actually realize that humans can see them. So <clears throat> Yulia doesn't probably know that. That's because like, you know, she was just blatantly pointing at them and saying that, oh, you can't see them, you can't see them. And the little men ghosts, you know, old men ghosts were like looking at Yulia and they were confused. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, what the hell? How can a human see us? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, like that big ghost comes in. Miko is terrified. She's like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? She is not going to stop. And she's going to like, you know, like, like all of us will fall into trouble if the big ghost actually realizes that we can see them. So <laughs> Miko knows what she can at that moment. She actually knocks her out. <laughs> <laughs> like like good thinking i guess like you know like <laughs> otherwise what could she have even done so she just knocked her out and she was like oh you're just pranking me haha <laughs> so funny <laughs> here's your punishment and just knocks her out like she kind of like you know makes it seem that way because the ghosts were also kind of suspicious of the whole situation the ghosts were like was like oh you can see me you can see me and then I guess the little play that Miko did like you know she was like haha you pranked me here's a punishment don't do that ever again like that little play that he she did probably made the ghost realize that oh these humans they're just playing around they don't know I'm here so yeah <laughs> and that's how like you know like they were able to get away from that situation and they come to the infirmary and Miko was like, yeah, don't like, you know, like, don't like, just pretend you can't see it and all that stuff she was saying while Yulia thought that she was actually threatening him. She was like, yeah, pretend you never saw that or else <laughs> you know what's going to happen or something like that. So my God, and she got even more traumatized. Great. So <laughs> Miko was like, oh, thank God I have a friend now. I can actually talk to her later on. 
But yeah, I don't think that's probably going to happen soon because as soon as Miko is probably going to come in front of Yulia, Yulia is going to get triggered with her PTSD and she's going to just run away. So yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, she probably, it will be a long time later that she'll probably become friends with her. Hopefully, you know, and uh, yeah. All right, uh, that was that. And then we come to the next scene of the old lady and it kind of made me realize like she, she was, she was seeing like humans ghosts all together at the same place. That's why, like, you know, like, uh, like she sees someone sitting in, in the uh, stairway and she thinks that it's a ghost because she can't, you know, differentiate between them. And, and like, it was like dark at that time. She couldn't even see it properly. And that's why, like, you know, it's damn scary. And when she actually grabbed her hand, I was like, wait a minute, don't ghosts, aren't ghosts like, like permeable? Because we saw one ghost, like, through which Nico kind of, passed through uh, the ghost's body so i was like wait what's happening so this ghost can touch you and then i realized and nico also realized that yeah that's just an old lady <laughs> okay and it was really nice of her actually to uh, you know bring the lady back now here's the thing you know me the things that miko has gone through are so messed up and so scary that she doesn't even feel afraid like if this was me or I don't know, like, you know, if this was like me and I saw like some old lady sitting, like, you know, at, at night, you know, sitting uh, at the staircase of like the bridge or something, I'd freak out and I'd just run away. Like, I have to say, like, props to her that she actually, like, you know, like, you know, like actually helped her at that moment like and that really shows that she's so damn like you know brave now like going through all these messed up situations these scary situations nothing faces her and you know obviously she's kind as well like like you know like how many people would actually like take their time to help someone you know who is like you know in trouble like not much out of 10 people i guess four or five pe people might less than that i guess so that kind of shows how like you know good at heart she is and she just you know like helps her like gives her a piggyback ride takes her to her house and here's the what the interesting thing happens here <clears throat> we meet a ghost who's just muttering random numbers now here's the thing when she started talking about mobile phones um the uh, the old lady you know and internet and she was talking about stuff like that I thought that okay maybe the ghost is actually muttering some kind of mobile phone password or something you know and or maybe some kind of uh, like you know bank pin pin code you know like password bank password or something like that and like you know like he was just muttering random numbers and he even went to the old lady and was muttering the numbers so <clears throat> but it's kind of the same like you know like uh, like it was not any like some bank number or something it was just like a number of a safe in the house and the the dad ghost i'm going to call him that the dad ghost <laughs> the dad ghost uh he has been roaming around in this place for so long just to try to let the old lady know about the password but unfortunately like you know like he can't he wasn't able to do it because he's a ghost now so i'm guessing that's why like you know he he wasn't able to pass on or something and you know mike miko kind of i guess miko kind of did that unconsciously you know like just like you know, the, the numbers that the ghosts were muttering she just put that in you know because like like you know the, it was, the ghost was muttering those numbers so she probably put that in just like you know, unconsciously and that's what triggered the old lady's memory. She just went in and she unlocked the safe, got the comb and uh, some letters, I guess. I'm guessing those were like their, the letters that the, the dad ghost like gave, uh, you know, the old lady and stuff. And yeah, and the ghost was like, thank you. And that's what I was actually trying to say after like, you know, like the, the, the scene ended that that means these different ghosts have different uh, values and morals, I guess. Like some ghosts will freak out if they realize that you have seen them. While some ghosts, like this ghost, you know, even though he realized that Miko 
can see him he did not say anything he was just thankful to her because she helped uh, him you know uh, get to his goal and tell the safe number to the uh, old lady now okay um here's one thing that i kind of saw but i'm kind of checking it out again okay uh where is it when the dad says like thank you oh yeah here it is the the dad says thank you and goes away and just a sec there's a little nod <laughs> that miko did like miko also probably like you know gonna kind of bowed her head and like said you're welcome or something like that like that little thing i kind of saw <laughs> it's kind of nice to see like you know like she's even courteous towards ghosts you know, like the, the ghost said thank you and she was like huh? and <laughs> uh, i think so that's what she did i'm not sure like it might be something else but yeah and you know like when they say they come eat with us she was like no my family's waiting for me and i think that time probably re reminded her of her own dad you know like which is kind of like in a similar situation to this ghost as well i guess because he's also like you know around and uh, yeah and you know like she realized that she also has a family and she thought she said that yeah let me go back home so yeah that was it that was a nice uh, like you know ending and then like you know in the end as i said like you know we can see the the big ghosts are actually eating that uh, that ghost so that means as i said like you know these monster type of ghosts these ghosts who, which have the dark aura they have different ways of passing on and this is how they pass on i guess you know like the big ghost kind of eats them or something like interesting i'm really looking forward to how like you know what more mystery uh, like you know stuff they're going to introduce into this and yeah that was fantastic so that's it so that is my reaction to episode number Five of miracle chan so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of miracle chan until then goodbye and have a nice day